Hi guys, I just want to throw a quick video for you guys to see what it takes to take an interior out of a third gen, which is an 82 to 92 Camaro slash Firebird. And I'm taking my interior out so I can put fourth gen interior in it. So this is what you have to do. The seats back here, these little buckets, they're held together by a 13 millimeter bolt. That's underneath the seat, and that's loose already. What you'll need is a socket, 13 millimeter, and an extension, a small little extension to get to it. And this is already loose, so I'll show you guys what that looks like. That's the bolt. And once you take that off, the seat just plops right out. That's how easy that comes out. And you see that hoop over there? That's where the actual bolt goes through. So let's put that over there. And that's where it bolts onto the actual back seat. Now over here, let me get you some light. To take this, these back seats off, under here it's a, is a 13 millimeter nut on a stud which is right here and you'll need something like this like a wrench or I have a ratcheting wrench so I'm going to use that to take that off this is already loose pretty much everything in the interior is 13 millimeter I also made a video on how to take the front seats out there are only four 13 millimeter nuts so you have to take off and one of mine had a lock on it and if you have a lock I showed you how to take that off so check my channel for that and now this back seat here I could just there's actual lever in the back up here which I could just uh, pull down and pull hold on a second Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me get the light in here. You pull down on this lever back here of the seat, and once you pull on it, it releases the latch, which latches on back here. Uh, I actually took that off, but there was uh, latches onto that, which was up there. Now, I'm t you don't have to take this whole side off. I took it off because I'm going to fix my headliner. My headliner is sagging. So watch out for that other video on how to fix your he sagging headliner. Now, I have it out. Hold on a second here. Now, all I have to do is there's a pin on this side. And there's some loose wiring here. Let me see if you guys can see that. There's a pin right there. So all I have to do is move that seat the other way to the right and it'll slide off that pin. Alright, so I have to move this to the right. Now let me see if I could do this while shedding some light on here. Uh, this might be a little difficult, just bear with me for a second. <sighs> Ah, all right, so that came right off. All I did was slide it to the right. Now let me just take this seat out. And as you can see down here, that's the pin I was talking about. And it was latched on over there. And now I just have the seat belt here that I could take off with two Torx headed bolts over here with a Torx bit and that will come off the seatbelt the seat will come off with that and this is what I'm installing in it ah, getting old ah. this is a fourth gen interior like I said and this has the same exact setup as what's in there now and this is where the nut was in the bottom on the right of that cushion seat 
So now that you see this video, you know how easy it is to take your interior out of your third gen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. It's free to subscribe. Check the box underneath. You can also like me. Check the box underneath. And check out my channel for car stuff. Not only third gens, but general automotive repair and high performance. Also, check me out on NewYorkThirdGen.com. That's N Y T H I R D G E E N. One E. Dot com. And I'm there during the day. That's where it's my club, that's where I hang out, and you see some of the fastest cars in New York there. So thanks for watching and take care.